The goal of this video is to provide information that will assist you in dismounting and mounting our X1 tires. We understand that some shops may use mounting machines and specialized mounting tools to accomplish this job. For these, we recommend that you consult your machine's manufacturer to see what recommendations they would have concerning the mounting of this size tire. We also know that the majority of shops use the T45A tubeless tire irons when mounting and dismounting tires. Our video is geared to the shops that use these tools. The following tools are recommended for mounting the X1 tires. Two or three T45A tire irons in good condition. A bead braking tool. Safety glasses. Industry approved slippery tire mounting lubricants, which do not contain any petroleum, alcohol, and silicone products. Valve and valve core tools. An inline air inflation device. An accurate tire air pressure gauge. And an OSHA approved tire safety cage measuring at least 17 and a half inches wide at the opening. Note, for road service, a portable two bar inflation cage is now available with a 20 and a half inch opening, which will easily accommodate the X1 tire. The required wheel for the X1 tire is the 14 by 22.5 inch size wheel designed in a hub centered mounting configuration. We anticipate that most of the wheels used will be aluminum. The current aluminum wheel has a drop center ledge on one side to ease the mounting process. This is important. If a vehicle pulls into your shop with a tire which has obviously been run with low air pressure, never just air up this type of tire. Refer to OSHA regulation CFR 29, 1910.77 and RMA Tire Information Service Bulletin Volume 33, number two, dated March 1995. Both refer to the correct procedure to handle and inspect potential run-flat tires. When dismounting the X1 tire from the vehicle, follow the same procedure as you do when dismounting duals, except only one tire is involved. Jack up the tire assembly. Remove the air from the tire wheel assembly. Run a wire through the valve to ensure that it is not clogged. Remove the lug nuts from the assembly. Using a T45A tire iron, lift up on the assembly and slide the tire wheel off the hub. The use of a wheel dolly will make this removal easier. To dismount an X1 tire, locate the drop center on the wheel. Lay the tire wheel assembly over with the drop center positioned downward. Now use the bead braking tool, or ram bar, to free the tire along the bead area. Step around the assembly and use your foot to press down the tire's sidewall and add a liberal amount of lubrication between the rim flange and bead area. Turn the assembly over and loosen the other bead with the bead braking tool. Add lubrication between the rim flange and the bead area. Now at this point you have a choice of using two or three tire irons. Using two tire irons, start at the valve stem. Insert two tire irons with the stop facing towards the rim flange on either side of the valve, approximately six inches apart. Hold the two tire irons and step through them onto the rim face while pushing down on the tire irons. Remove one iron and with the assistance of your foot, Insert it between the rim and bead in the same orientation, approximately 12 inches from where the first two bars were inserted. Push down on the iron as you pull towards the center of the wheel. Remove the iron and work the balance of the first bead over the rim in the same manner. Using three tire irons, this makes removing the first bead easier, start at the valve stem and insert two tire irons with the stop facing towards the rim flange on either side of the valve approximately six inches apart. Place the third T45A tire iron approximately 12 inches from the other two tire irons in the same stop facing towards the flange position. Hold the first two tire irons and step through them onto the rim face while pushing down on the tire irons. 
leaving the two tire irons in the down position, push down on the third tire iron in the same manner. Pull one of the irons out, insert it, and continue until the first bead is removed off the rim. Lift the assembly into a vertical position. Ensure that the second bead and the remaining rim flange are properly lubricated. Insert the straight end of the tire iron with the stopper positioned up between the tire and the inner rim flange. Insert a second tire iron in the same position approximately six inches apart. Rotate the tire irons 180 degrees so that the stopper is located at the bottom and pull on the irons until the stoppers are against the rim flange. Let the assembly drop towards you while pulling up on the tire irons. A rocking and lifting action may be necessary to pry the rim out of the assembly. To mount the X1 tire onto the wheel, inspect the rim base to ensure that it is clean and free of debris and burrs. Inspect the valve assembly to ensure that no oxidation buildup is present and that the valve is tightened in accordance with valve manufacturer's specifications. Position the wheel with the ledge of the drop center facing upwards. Lubricate the entire mounting surface of the wheel. Lubricate both beads of the tire. Position the tire opposite the valve stem and push on the first bead as far as you can, spinning the tire slightly at the same time. Insert the curved end of the tire iron with the stop facing down between the bead and rim flange. Position your foot in the center of the wheel and pry the first bead over the rim flange. Again, with the curved end of the tire iron, stop facing down, stand on top of the assembly opposite the valve stem and pry the second bead over the rim flange. Use your foot to hold the bead in position and your weight to position the bead in the drop center as you pry the bead area over the flange. Inflate the tire to 5 PSI to begin its bead seating process and ease in lifting of the tire assembly. Lift the assembly and roll it into the inflation cage. With the inline gauge, we recommend that you inflate the assembly to 120 PSI to position the beads. However, if your system PSI does not go that high, inflate the assembly to a minimum of 100 PSI. Install a new valve core and adjust the air pressure to 100 PSI. Install a new valve cap. Inspect the guide rib to ensure that the bead is properly seated circumferentially around the tire. Any difference in the distance found greater than 2 30 seconds of an inch should be investigated and the tire's bead should be reseated. When mounting the tire assembly onto the vehicle, be sure to first check that the mating surfaces of the wheel and brake drum are clean and free of rust and debris. Add a few drops of oil to the nut assembly. Place the tire assembly in front of the hub and brake drum in an outbound position with the valve facing out. Using a T45A tire iron, lift up on the assembly and position it over the hub pilots so that the studs slide through the stud holes in the wheel. Again, this process could be made easier with the use of a wheel dolly. Install the lug nuts. Snug the lug nuts down following the recommended manufacturer's torque sequence. Ensure that all lug nuts are torqued in accordance with manufacturer specifications to 450 foot-pounds using an accurate torque checking device. Note, the X1 tire mounted on an aluminum wheel weighs more than a 275-80R 22.5 size tire mounted on a steel wheel. Please use care and proper lifting techniques when standing any assembly upright. When the assembly is upright, you will find that it is very stable and not subject to tilting and falling over as experienced with narrower tire assemblies. We trust that you will find this video helpful. 
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your Michelin representative.